Hi everybody and welcome back to the workshop. You're probably wondering about the thumbnail this week. And excuse the wavy lines, it's the lights on the roof. The lighting's not very good in here and it doesn't really react well with the camera. As you can see behind me, it's a real big mess. Now if I take you around the workshop and let you have a look around, you will see it's just a complete state. So let's go and have a look over this way. Don't worry, we haven't been broken into. We're having a bit of an organization, organizational rearrangement of the workshop. Whichever way you want to look at it, we're going to reorganise the whole workshop. Now, I'm going to take you off of me because you don't want to see me. You want to see what's going on in here. Um, it's the end of the year. We're changing a few things about the workshop. We're going to be changing a few things about the channel as well. And uh, probably going to have a new uh, intro, new outro, just some different bits and pieces. So let me spin you around so you can have a look and see what's been going on. Right, so we have our, what we call our detailing and cleaning part there. That's new. Um, that's where the cutting, everything's going on at the moment. So just along here, we put some shelving for the power tools. I've just purchased one of the tough systems. On here, all our parts bins used to be on the shelves. So now, They've got their own shelves. We will be doing another one of these and putting it just there, because we've got a whole load of new depart bins uh, which we picked up today. If we go over here, we've got some paint storage there. As you can see, all these shelves here were what were over the other side of the workshop. So yeah, all those shelves were over the other side of the workshop. So what we've actually done is, we've left that bench there for the moment. So excuse the wavy lines. We have more space there now. Um, once we've cut up the big bench at the front, one and part of it's gonna go there. We've moved the toolboxes on that wall. We've left the two benches there where they are. We just put a space in between them because we now have a chop saw station. And we've incorporated some cable storage for now. But again, that's all gonna change. That was just a quick method of storing cables. These benches are gonna be sorted out properly. We're gonna get some proper dust extraction sorted for it. So yeah, I've got a busy day or busy week coming up. Tomorrow I've got a T5 coming in for a diesel heater and electric hookup. So that's the plans for tomorrow. I'm gonna to throw a bit of that footage in on the video, on the next video, not this one. So yeah, a lot's happening in here. Right, also why I've got you here today, I want to have a little bit of a chat. I mean, a lot of, I know a lot of YouTubers put out a Christmas message. I was actually gonna do that, but I thought the whole place would be flooded with Christmas messages. So I chose not to. And I've gone for a message between Christmas and New Year, sort of mid, mid sort of festivities uh, message for you. And I was playing about with thumbnail on this for this video, but yeah. Anyway, I've just been reflecting and thinking about the past year and the whole Built Not Bought channel, the Built Not Bought business, um, the vans we've worked on, the things we've done. And I would like to say to you, I'm living the dream. For me, this is my dream and I'm living it. And that leads me on to saying, and you know, I know so many people up there, out there that are stuck in a rut, that are not happy with their lives, not doing what they want to do, 
they've either got somebody holding them back or something holding them that back or they're just the fear of the unknown whichever it is I, I've got one message for you if you want to do something do it you get one life you get one shot at it and that's it and I'm always saying to myself if I could go back and do what I'm doing now a long time ago do you know I would but do you know my past has made me who I am today and I love who I am <laughs> I know a lot of people might not love who I am but you know I love the person I am right now and I love the things that I'm doing I love the plans that I've got for the future so all in all it's like I watch other YouTubers I mean there's one couple that I watch specifically because one they crack me up two they really 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 I've got the best best saying that you could ever have and that's rule your own world yep and that's Craig and Amy from King in it um, I'm gonna sort of I'm, I'm gonna link them in hopefully they'll see this video anyway but I just want to say to you them guys they've been through hell and back he you know he almost sort of paralyzed himself Amy's pulled herself back from cancer do you know what respect to both of those for doing what they're doing now and as far as rule, ruling your own world god them two are again you should be doing that i don't know who you are who what i do know who watches me i've got people from mexico america canada do you know it, i'm absolutely feel really humbled that people out there are watching me and what i do you know i can't what well, i keep saying to myself what the hell do you see in me i am who i am who i am um i know there's a lot of youtubers out there will spend their time being somebody they're not and when you meet them in person they're not exactly that person you see on the channel whereas I think everybody I've met so far has said when they've met me I'm the exactly same person that I am talking to you right now because uh, I suppose I do try and keep things real you know no one's perfect all these people building fans showing the perfect videos don't believe it in a million years so I'm far from perfect but if there's something you want to do go and do it don't let no one hold you back and if your dream is to have a camper van, go and travel, live in a van. Don't let society, don't let governments, don't let sort of perceptions of everybody else get in your way. It's your life. One shot, do it. And again, it's, there's, you know, there's, it doesn't have to, you know, relate to van life. If there's something else you want to do, travel the world. People say, oh, money's stopping me. There's always ways and means of doing things. Go and work and travel. So if you particularly set your mind on doing something, there's someone holding you back, don't let them. Go and do it. Enjoy life. You get one shot at it. Take it. Take it for what it is. Because you won't get another chance. I will say to people that are doing things, you know, that they get upset over. And my favourite saying is, look at the time. So the same to you now. Look at the time. Look at the date. Once that time and that date's gone, you're not getting it back. There's no replay. That is it. So, yeah. That, I mean, this is my sort of Christmas to New Year message for everybody. So, I was going to put out a Christmas message. I was going to put out a bit of a funny video. But do you know what? I thought I'd put out this one. Um, I'm, I'm nothing special. I'm just your average person doing everything that I want to do. You know, and I am lucky and I feel, you know, humbled the fact that, you know, I've got people backing me up to do this and I've got, I can do this. So again, don't let anybody stop you doing what you want to do. And I suppose really that comes to it for me, for the end of this. And that's it for another year. So I know Christmas has gone. I hope you all had a great Christmas. All got you what you wanted for Christmas presents, you know, the food, drinks, whatever you've done. I hope you have made the most of it and happy because, you know, the past couple of years have been a struggle. And that's for everybody in different ways. But more so, fingers crossed, hope you get a good New, Year, New Year's Eve. And leads me to say, Happy New Year. Enjoy it. And I will see you next year. Bye for now.